Thanks for watching this video. In this video we're going to illustrate how to remove the tack needle from a 75 to 1982 Corvette tachometer. It's pretty simple. We've got a uh, little fork here that's used for uh, seafood. It's a cocktail fork, whatever you want to call it. You can see that we've put some different bends in it, but we've done this so that we can actually go under the needle and pull it and not worry about damaging the needle. But before I show you this, I thought, you know, I'd do a little update to the uh, tack board installation video. And we get a lot of questions about the tachometers and, and should they do this or that or whatever. Well, this tack, if you see it, and I'm just going to show you. You see, I move it around. See how the needle just bounces all around? And then you grab this tachometer and you do the same thing. And the needle doesn't move at all. This is a good tack. In this tachometer, the resistance fluid is dissipated, and there's hardly any resistance in the, in the movement, and you know, just wiggle back and forth. Now, in the old days, we used to look at a tachometer and say, okay, if, if we went to look at a used tachometer and wondered if it was a good tach, if it was sitting on zero, we wouldn't buy it. The tachometers are designed to read the last input when they're shut off, and the tach boards that we make the reproduction tack boards, we had to create that function on the board uh, so that the tacks would operate just like the original tachometers did. If if we didn't input that function into the board, then our tacks would just go to zero every time you shut them off, and that we didn't want to happen. Anyway, let's get back to the needle. The way we pull the needle off is we use this little pickle fork, or not pickle fork, this little uh, uh, cocktail fork, and we go right underneath the tack needle and we put our thumb on it, and I don't know if you can see, and then we just pull off. Well, I said we just pull out. There we go. We just pull out. By doing it that way, you don't have to worry about breaking the needle. And so you, you can do the same on this one. You just want to go underneath of it, not scratch the face, and it'll pull right off. Oh, that needle's broke. I just noticed that. See that? So, uh, anyway, now, if you want to know how to set the needle back on, you know, we do, and there's a video for how to do it. It's called a, a tach, tachometer zero set. And what you're going to do is you're going to power up the, the tack board with power and ground with no input, which that drives the needle to zero. And then you're going to set the needle back on here. And it, one of the tricks, you got to make sure the spindle is pushed in with your thumb because sometimes when you move the needle, the spindle will pull out into the plastic and you don't want it stuck. But then you just set it down there on zero. Let's say we already had power and ground on this tachometer. You put on there and then you tap it one time and that should be good to go. So that pretty much sums it up. Don't forget to visit our website. It's WilcoxCorvette.com. Thank you and have a great day.